We have not crossed the finish line. At this time last year, staff for Kansas City Public Schools thought the district was on the right track to regaining accreditation. It's just a waiting game. This year, they still are, but it may take longer than expected because when it comes to the district state assessment results, they're starting from scratch. We can't dig into the data. We just have raw scores. So the state will eventually um, send out information to let us know how this would all be calculated, and then we'll be able um, to really be able to roll forward and see what that means. Vicki Marillo is in charge of the district's curriculum, which is now based on common core standards. She says you can't compare this year's results with any other years. That's like comparing apples to oranges. Everyone is looking to compare. That's going to be the hardest point. How did we do in comparison to last year? On average, half of the students around the state were proficient in subjects like English and science. Merlo is hopeful her district did well, but doesn't think they'll know whether this year is the year they'll get full accreditation, since there's no previous scores in which to compare their progress. Even if um, this, uh, the state comes back and does not believe that we have met uh, what we need for the full accreditation, we know that we have a plan to get there and we will get there. The MAP scores for each individual district come out next week. A representative from the Missouri Department of Education thinks it may not be until mid-October that we know whether districts like Kansas City or Hickman Mills can apply for accreditation. Reporting live in the studio, Brenda Luis Gonzalez, 41 Action News.